you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. Uh, moving on. So it's time to wrap. So it resurfaced that Eminem, uh, Eminem old racist mixtape, like, came back out. And I guess they trying to, like, debunk his legacy or whatever the case may be. But it has resurfaced. I didn't even know he had, like, a racist mixtape that he's done. But he said that it stemmed from a breakup. And, the you know, the woman that he was with is, you know, melanated. And he was feeling the type of way. But he was he, he was going crazy from the stuff that I heard. Um like hearing the explanation, I, I've never, I've never even known that. And um, what's his name? Uh, they used to run uh, the the rap magazine. Uh, Benzino, he was like the the catalyst for that. You know, mm-hmm. saying because he got the t- like he got well, everybody, whoever heard it at that time, you know, he was going off on you know melanated people. And of course, you're gonna feel the type of way. I don't know if you even heard of that story before, because today was the first I even heard of it. Um, no, nah, I never even heard. Um, never even heard about that shit. You know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. damn, if that shit resurfaces, like, goddamn, that means you have to have found the tape, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't even know what system you use to take cassette tape and digitize the shit mm-hmm. to put it back out again. You know what I'm saying? What the, what, all what these years or whatever? What what they were saying that it, it's been out for public assumption, but you know how stories die over time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it's been you know resurfaced that that happened. Now, nah, but a girl tried to fight me. <laughs> yeah, well, I, you know what I'm saying. Well, you know, whoop them that bad, kid. Bailey, you was whooping yeah. them that bad. They have to throw uh, hands and sing. Yeah, why is she? Pudgy, melanated is crazy. Yeah, I, I say, for those who don't know, I say the word melanated instead of saying the word black because black is not, we're not three-fourths of a people, we're not three-fourths of a human being. That's why I su- substitute the word black for melanated, ebony, you know, so on and so forth. Um, but yeah, um, so, you know, I can understand why Benzino has been feeling the type of way, and not just Benzino, Anybody that's melanated should feel a type of way, the because the the excuse was kind of trash, you know what I'm saying. But I guess everybody has something. So is this redeemable for his career and for his legacy? Shit, pop in the tape, show him what he did last night. Don't what they did. Shout out to Mythic Reaper. Shout out, shout out, shout out. Shout out to Mythic Reapers. You know what I mean, hit that like button, subscribe. You know the way. Yeah, you already know you guys here about 50 Cent talking about New York City cop beating guys getting off. I didn't hear that. I did not hear that. I'm going to look into that. I'm going to look into that. And see, and it's funny that that, that the chat, Rowan, he mentioned 50 Cent. 50, and I think, um, I, I think because 50 Cent has undoubtedly giving so much credit to Eminem that like like Eminem still have a street cred really really from 50 cent you know uh they say for I, some I was, to look at it now that I think that might have been strategic you know what I'm saying mm. if you think about it mm-hmm. so the, when Dre signed Eminem that probably that tape was swirl around this shit, you know what I'm saying? And it, it was mad easy to to dub this shit back then because we didn't mm-hmm. have it back then, you know what I'm saying? So if they got a hold of it or a reporter or some media group got a hold of it, they'd make that call and she'd get it shut down, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, they were saying in the chat that Eminem did get a lot of passes and shit, you know what I'm saying? He definitely did get a lot of passes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a fact. I, I feel like he's gotten a lot of passes as well. Um, you know, so that's that's why I asked the question, dude, this really taints his legacy because at the end of the day, everybody has something. You know what I'm saying? But you're like, we're the culture that you want to be a part of, but then you bring out an album that speak against us. So like, which one is it? You know what I'm saying? And Back at that time, 
he was already successful when this this tape came out. He wasn't he wasn't uh you know obviously he wasn't like platinum, but he was successful enough to be signed. He was successful enough to be working on his album with Dre, and then obviously when the Slim Shady album came out, then they had broke that story um with Benzino's uh, magazine, Source magazine. So you know it's it's worth it's worth mentioning. Uh, you guys are melanated friends. Ask anyone. Facts. Shout out to Eve. Uh, 49ers or Chiefs. Chiefs all day. We we Chiefs all day. Uh, let them know again, Bailey. We Chiefs all day over here. You know what I'm saying? Chiefs all day. So, I have no comment. My teams is not in the Super Bowl. I'm just a spectator watching. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. Uh, moving on to the next question. Or moving on to the next uh, subject. Dwayne Martin and Ashley Marie Jones are engaged. Any uh, 